Hi there. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Anjali and that is my dog Sadie. And together we are roaming the UK in our 1992 camper van, Jezebel. Hi everyone. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Yay. I hope you've enjoyed the videos over the last few weeks, places that I've been, uh, things that I've seen. Uh, in today's video, um, we are not actually heading out anywhere. Um, today's video is going to be more of a uh, tidying up Jez and sorting things out and sort of showing you around the van. Things that need upgrading I'll talk about and uh, I'm going to be asking for your help. So if you have any really <laughs> help with some things, then please do put them in the comments below uh, because I um, am struggling with some things and I need some expert advice. Um, but yes, today, so we're going to be in the van. I've been out on some day trips with Jez, but I haven't actually slept over in her since Burning Woman Festival. So that was about a month ago. I also didn't really tidy up and clean up after that because uh, I was exhausted and lazy and I thought I'd be going out in her again. But I do have some uh, trips away planned over the next month. And there's going to be very little time in between each one for me to actually get Jez sorted. So I thought today's video could be more of a behind the scenes sort of look at tidying up a small wheelbase van, um, going through some things that I just don't need and questioning why I decided to pack them anyway. Um, now that I've done quite a few sleeps, you know, there's, because space is so limited in a small van, um, really have to go through and think about what I'm keeping and, and why I'm keeping it and uh, hopefully make some space for me and Sadie in here. Yeah, as I said, I've got lots of things planned for the next couple of, well, next month or so really, next six weeks, uh, including a kayaking trip down the River Severn with some wild camping, which is gonna be really good fun. Um, I'm off to Holland again for uh, nine days for my birthday. Um, so Jez actually won't be coming with me for that, but that is another reason why I've got um, to work these things out because I uh, won't have space in between the different things I'm going to in order to tidy up and clean up and sort the van out. Uh, I also have a trip hopefully to the Lake District at the end of September, which I'm very excited about, like a three day trip to the Lake District. I haven't been to the Lake District before, really want to go to the Lake District. So yeah, really excited to um, go out with the Nottingham Yes Tribe uh, group, or the East Midlands Yes Tribe group on Facebook. Uh, go to uh, the Lake District for a long weekend, which would be lovely. And also, what else have I got? I'm off to London as well. Not in Jez because you know, Jez is definitely at 31 years old, not ULES compliant. <laughs> definitely can't go anywhere near London or any of the big cities really. Um, but I thought, yeah, today could be more of a video of yeah, what is going on like behind the scenes stuff. Because normally when I do a video, I've already, you know, packed the van up and I'm ready to go to wherever we're going. And I sort of ignore all of that actual van lifey stuff. So hopefully you find this video interesting. Um, if you do, you know, give me a little thumbs up. Do leave a comment below and subscribe and all of that jazz. But yes, let's get going with uh, sorting out this van. So the first thing I need people's help with, if you know something about this or have any ideas, please do put them in the comments below because uh, I desperately need some help. So I've tried multiple times to put the faux leatherette fabric that I bought onto the ceiling here. Um, I have tried with various spray glues. I've tried like high temperature adhesives, um, everything that says that I can, it can withstand and it doesn't melt and it's like a solid strong bond and everything has fallen down as soon as it gets a bit warm. So the material continues to fall down um, which is really depressing uh, because it's so beautiful it's completely ruined now so I'm gonna have to buy some more if I do decide to do something with it but in the meantime it's left horrible tackiness on my ceiling. I've tried alcohol rubs and I've tried acetone and nothing seems to get it off. I don't know what to do um, because now like there's bugs getting stuck to it. My hair gets stuck to it if I'm climbing up into the bed and because Sadie is a corgi she molts a lot and so the Sadie fluff gets stuck up there magically. Um, it's 
really stressful. So if you have any ideas of how I can get this glue off, or if there's any other sort of glue that I can use to get some more material up there, or any way that I can attach that material to this. I can't remove, this here keeps the roof up, so I can't like remove bits of poles or anything. So I, I just need a, a fix for it. So if you are handy in that way, know something I can do to cover up this old lino that's got holes in it and stuff, please. Please let me know. Um, I desperately, desperately want to fix this and clean this because, oh, bugs, gross. Yes. Uh, so on my social media, I did have some couple of people saying that they found it hard to hear me at certain points in my video, especially if I was in the van um, at a place where other people were camping. I know that I often whisper, uh, or not whisper, but I keep a low voice because I don't want to disturb people. Um, and also when I'm out and about and it's very windy or um, there's a lot of noise around, people can't hear what I'm saying. So I have purchased a wireless mic that plugs into my phone. It also plugs into my action cameras. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to hear me a lot better now without me having to raise my voice at all. Um, and even if I do, you know, sit and I'm very quiet, you can still hear me okay. So hopefully uh, that will be an improvement on my videos. You know, do let me know if the, the sound is better for you and ho hopefully the uh, closed captions will maybe pick up what I'm saying a bit better as well. Sometimes I read those closed captions and I'm like, that is not what I said. They do not, they do not appreciate an Essex accent uh, on certain words. But yes, hopefully you can hear me much better now with a wired mic. So yay, good stuff. Okay, as you can see, I have a lot of mess stuff that has been sort of in my house. So, so sometimes when I come back from a camp, I literally just throw everything into a bag that needs to come out and be cleaned and stuff. And then lo and behold, it all comes back in a bag of stuff. So yeah, let's go through what I've got here. So first of all, I have my camp blanket, which I finally washed and cleaned. This is my very old camp blanket. Um, and you can see my brownie badges on there. Oh yes, and my scouting badges um, because I'm cool. So this is this camp blanket has been with me since I was very young and going camping. Um, I'm trying to think, maybe about 30 years old, uh, this blanket. Um, but it has been to many places with me, seen many things. Um, and I finally got it washed and sewed on the last of my patches and stuff. So that is now going to come with me in this van for a burn all time. Um, other things randomly. Oh, I bought a um, a sun hoodie, so a UV protection thin hoodie I can put on when I'm sailing. Obviously, sailing, sailing. Have I ever been sailing? Uh, no, <laughs> when I'm camping. And uh, yeah, I got a yellow one. I also got an orange one because obviously uh, big bright colours for jazz. Um, Oh, my new waterproof pouch. So I bought this from the Ordnance Survey because it said it was um, extra large and um, it still doesn't fit my phone in. Um, very irritating. Uh, Google Pro 7, I need a bigger pouch. Oh, look, what's this lemongrass? I, I have these lovely pouches. I'm sure I've seen it showing you them before for all of my herbs and spices and stuff. So they're cute, they look like little jars. But this is a lemongrass, which I finally got hold of. Um, bungee cords for my flags, they need to go into the boot, some plastic bags, oh a running shirt, with long sleeves, what else we got in here, oh some new ribbon to tie up my curtains with because I have lost some ribbon, my toothbrush and toothpaste, uh, emergency phone cord, I think this stuff is for the boots. This looks like it is my uh, shower and also my um, awning. So they need to go into the back. And that looks like, oh, some lovely corgi stickers. Some stickers, don't know where I'm gonna put those. But anyway, yes, I've got lots of stuff floating around. So I need to find some space for it all. I need to um, work out what's going where and yeah, just make a better storage thing. I need, especially need to remember to keep things like this because obviously when I'm doing the kayaking, I want to do some video and stuff, but um, I'm also very aware that I'm accident prone and could fall into the river. So um, waterproof pouches are great. Also, I mean, this one from Ordnance Survey is very nice. It's got a little map thing on it. Um, it's got enough space so you can put your phone in and obviously it will look through 
the back there and you can still use it like a, a phone um but yeah oh that was loud sorry about that um yeah so i've got to sort out this stuff and then i've got to sort out all of the cupboards and everything as well sleeping and living and camping in a small wheelbase van which doesn't have a lot of space like mine is a lot of moving <laughs> junk from one space to another space to another space until you find all the space so here is my bed sort of made I have like my little under blanket and then my duvet and I've got a couple of blankets on the bed depending on how cold it gets this beautiful one here was hand crocheted by my friend Sim um, to match Jezebel's colors and I don't know if I've ever showed it to you before, yeah. but look at it. She's amazing and oh, it just, it's great. Love it. Okay, um, next thing we need to sort out is this cupboard here. So this cupboard is where I keep all of my clothes and stuff when I'm camping. Um, I try and make sure that I put everything in like compression bags to save space, but there's always like too much stuff in here. It's my bin where I also store my Crocs. Um, so as you can see, this is so this is my whole wardrobe space. So all of my clothes had to fit in here. I also have all of this other stuff in here as well. So I need to rearrange where things go. This, for example, is my hammock, which I don't need to be in here. So that's going to go into my bag for the for the boot, which I will also show you the boot space, which I hide because it's a mess. But you know, it's a show all type day. So we're going to see everything that's in here. So I have things like my emergency woolly hat, which has a little light on it. Um, and I keep that in the top here. And an emergency bum bag. You know, know when you have a bum bag emergency. Um, I have two pairs of waterproof um, over trousers from Mountain Warehouse. Uh, these these were amazing when we were in Wales because it was wet and rainy and I just bought leggings with me and these just go over the top of your whatever trousers you're wearing and they make what you're wearing waterproof so that was amazing. Uh, I'm going to keep one pair in here. One pair I'm actually going to take out because I'm going to be packing for my kayaking trip uh, which will be its own separate thing as well which I'll show you um, and I'm going to put a pair of these into one of my waterproof bags so they're going to stay out for the moment. What else have I got in here? I've got my micro towels, um, which there's three of them. They all roll up and fold up quite nicely into that. Uh, but again, I'm going to take that kayaking. So that will stick, come out and go into one of my wet bags. Little tiny tote bag, which is hella cute. Um, I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but it's there. Um, I also have all of these sleeping things. So this is my extra light coat and I normally just take this out with me because it just folds down so small uh, feather down uh, like little jacket <laughs> up there got my sleeping bag just an extra um, you know in case it's very cold here in the van extra super snooze it's good but this will be coming with me kayaking so I need to take that out of here and then these are my favorite little possessions I have like a poncho polar outdoor stuff this is like a poncho made of sleeping bag material oh, it's lush um, so when it's quite cold outside if you're sitting by a campfire this is very nice uh, polar outdoor stuff I'll try and get a picture of me wearing it um, and that I normally store down the bottom here because there is a hole in the bottom of the cupboard then this is my wearable sleeping bag it's got like holes for my arms and holes for my feet so I can wear it and then do up the bottom and do up the sides and then I've got a sleeping bag so those things on their own take up in most of the bottom of the space so I've got very little space in here for clothes and things um, so when I go out I have to be very mindful of what I'm taking and 
and to how much I'm taking and, and what I'm actually going to need. This, so moving over to the other side of the van, this is my food storage area. As you can see, it's very nice and full. Um, I bought far too much stuff the last time for the Burning Woman Festival. Um, I just want need to go through it and just check that nothing's like run out of uh, this date. I have things like this goes with my porridge. I have a deep obsession with porridge at the moment. Um, so I like to put fruit and nuts and things into it in the morning. Um, yeah, as you can see, I've got lots and lots of porridge oats to go in here. And uh, yeah, and basically everything in here is like dry food or cans of food. Uh, things that will last me. So that just needs to be all sorted. Okay, the drawer underneath this one is sort of my doom drawer. There is, nothing sort of fits in it properly. <laughs> Everything just falls out, as you can see. I try and keep it tidy, but it doesn't really stay that way. It's very irritating. I need to get some boxes and things that fit. Um, but it's more for like, like my dry goods, so my couscous and my quinoa and risottos and ooh, some gravy, uh, lentils and things. So it's more like my store cupboard and obviously my coffee. Um, but yeah, everything just sort of and tumbles out of here it's very frustrating so what have we got in here I have one coffee machine here I have an espresso coffee machine here as well I do like that it's small you know it does fit in there but now that I have the other one I rarely use it um, coffee cup that goes with coffee machine um, have a little gas cooker kettle and an electric kettle that's the water tank for the Nespresso machine and I have little hooks for my saucepans and frying pans so I'm always trying to make the most out of all of the space Sorry. so try to maximize the space things to be held that includes I've got like little sticky things that I've managed to stick in such a way that my in theory lids will all stay up Okay, one of the last things is my electronic slash doom drawer. Oh, it's got a lovely mirror there. Hi. Um, but yeah, this is where I keep like my first aid kits and my electrical stuff. And it's a bit of a mess. It's sort of where I shove everything. Um, yeah, when it's uh, not being used, I need to clean it up a little bit. Well, welcome to the boot space. Uh, congratulations, you are seeing the secret sneaky hidey hole that is uh, the mess of my boot. Uh, I've got to put a whole lot of stuff away in it because remember, at Burning Woman, it absolutely tipped it down, like really badly rained and everything got soaked and nothing was dry. So everything has been drying in my house, in the bathroom and uh, I haven't been bothered to put anything back in. So. Uh, you can see me Tetris in my um, garage space. Okay, so this is my garage space. Lovely curtains here. <gasps> Pull back the curtains, Wizard of Oz style. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it's a little bit of a mess. And we need to sort all of this out. So 
uh, essential things I need to take with me and non-essential things uh, that need to. So that is the van sorted almost. Um, I do need to like actually clean it, you know, with cleaning products, but it's all like tidy and things are in their place, which is marvelous. Um, and yeah, it didn't take as much time as I thought it was going to. Um, the one thing I haven't thought of when I was packing the boot just then is that I do have my kayak that I need to take with me on one of the trips, obviously, because I am on well, actually two of the trips, because I'm doing a kayak on the River Severn with some wild camping for a couple of days. And I'm also going to the Lake District to do some kayaking and swimming and that round there. So I need to have some space in the van for those things. Uh, I might be able to put it down sort of inside the van space and have to leave it outside the van, obviously in the evenings and stuff. And we'll just see how that goes. But for now, that's all of it. Thanks for coming along and for watching this. I know it's not my usual like, oh, look at all the pretty things we're seeing. Um, it's more van life maintenance type stuff but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it interesting like the ways in which I try and keep this tiny little van tidy and neat and um, the sort of space that I'm working with as well um, and I just, if you're interested in van life you see all these people with these massive vans and you know they've got more space than a you know a flat in London but <laughs> uh, yeah I don't have that space um, it's very difficult for me to do lots of filming like working in the van because there was <laughs> there's not enough zoom out on my camera <laughs> to actually get me and the van in um so yeah i hope you enjoyed today's video please do like comment subscribe all of those things i'm sorry it hasn't been prettier uh, i'll put some videos at the end here of i don't know sadie running around in nature that we've been doing in the last couple of days uh, that weren't like you know enough for a whole video but yeah, I hope, I hope you have enjoyed yourselves and thank you very much for coming along and for watching. And uh, yeah, if there's anything else that you want to know about the van, uh, about Jez or anything like that, please do comment here or on Instagram or on Twitter. They're my main ones for communicating on. I'm also on Facebook. So yeah, do start a conversation. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much for coming along today and uh, have a pleasant rest of your weekend. Bye.